It's Python on hardware time. Lots of news. This is a snippet from our weekly community chat, our newsletters, our blog posts. It's about everything we do in the world of Python and hardware. Congratulations to Damien and MicroPython. The latest update is out, MicroPython 1.12. It's released. There is support for PyBoards, BLE, Little FS, Dynamic Native Modules, SAMD PowerPC, and more. It's a nice update. You can check out the GitHubs, and you can check out the forum post from Damien. We will have that in our newsletter. We are now up to 94 boards. We are getting so close to 100. Ooh, See how close we get by the end of the year. Smell it. But whereas, <laughs> there's now 94 boards on circuitpython.org. And one note that I think is really important, less than half of them are from Adafruit. Correct. So there's 40 Adafruit made boards and 54 from everyone else. So if anyone thinks that this is an Adafruit thing, no, it's a giant community ecosystem. And there's lots of companies, lots of people, lots of individuals, entire uh, businesses being built around using circuit Python. Yeah, when we started, it was a lot of Adafruit stuff because we yeah, were well, you reporting have to get started. it. Gotta get started. But now, actually, you know, on a yeah. weekly basis, we get one or two new boards, and yeah. we don't make one or two new boards a week. So, so we're, yeah. Success happy. for us was more boards from everyone else than just the core Adafruit ones. Yeah. So right now, there's 40 from Adafruit, 54 from everyone else, and that number from everyone else is just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. So check it out, circuitpython.org slash downloads. Here's a preview of we're going to do a little update on the site because the boards are so cool, the site's going to look even cooler. So this is a little bit of a, you know, just a, just a little bit preview. It's not a yeah, sort of section, but maybe later. Um, so it'll be coming soon. Uh, we have a CircuitPython 4.1.2 release. Yep. Uh, minor stable release. Uh, it updates Adafruit underscore Circuit Playground Frozen Library for Circuit Playground Express. Shouldn't pick, break any code compatible with the previous releases. Um, if you don't have a Circuit Playground Express or a Pi Ruler or a board with Frozen Libraries, there's no reason to update, but if you like having the latest stable. Yeah, we, we just up, made some improvements. I think we also shrank the size yeah. by making some optimizations. So yeah. four, but you know what? If you if you want, go up to five. We're we're sure. getting ready for a release candidate. Speaking of. Speaking of. CircuitPython 500 Beta 2 is released. This is Beta 2. Proves our initial file system definitions. Might overwrite existing files, so make sure you back them up before updating. The beta releases are pretty much feature complete at this point, and they're meant for testing, so do check it out. All right, we have another update to our Bluefruit Playground app. Um, if you have a Circuit Playground Bluefruit and you've downloaded the app on iOS, you can just click update and it'll, uh, or it's already pushed an update to you. And we just have a few new things already. So you can control LEDs, color and animation, view light sensor readings, view state of the built-in buttons and switch, turn the Circuit Playground Bluefruit into a musical instrument, orientation based on accelerometer data, view temperature readings, and much, much more. All right, Circuit Python. Snakes its way to Hackspace Magazine again. So this is their latest issue. And in this issue, they have a really big feature on making music with Circuit Python. So yes, there's little buzzers. And like you saw with yeah. Make Code Minute, you can make tones with them. And we even have an RTTL library, so you can like play ringtones. Yep, just funny. use some math and a bit of code to create your own waveforms. Page 74, 75, um, support them. This is a free magazine, but you can subscribe. You can also buy it. And if you want to see cool magazines that support the maker and hacker world, this is one to subscribe to. And if you do, you get a Circuit Playground Express. They don't pay us to say this or anything. I just think it's a good idea. And uh, people are really happy because they get a magazine and they get electronics. All right, this is from ITAP Arcade. And this is a cool cardboard controller handheld for a game, 100 Yard Dash. And it uses Circuit Python and Circuit Playground. Each row of LEDs represents the 20 yard. Uh, line and you press the left and right sides to the field to move your player while avoiding the defenders. Ooh. Yeah, kind of neat, right? This is this is way better than beer yeah. pong. Um, then everyone's getting their Ada boxes and there, we have an ornament inside of it. So folks are putting their family photos in there. This is from Scott. This is funny Anthony. because you, people really like card. Like, you know, we're like, oh, people put the gizmo in and yeah. they'll beam a photo over. But what people really like is the snowflake yeah, demo. Yeah, they like putting the, the they do. snow on it. Uh, this is kind of neat. This is a uh, Zux, a animatronic penguin, and you can control it with a... Half tox, yeah, half killer robot. Yeah, and you can control it with a uh, Pi Badge. Uh, sorry, Edge Badge, because we have Pi Badge and Edge Badge. I'm going to say um, This is cool. IoT Makers Israel, they had a Circuit Python hands-on workshop and meetup, and uh, 
you can look at some of the coverage and some of the slides and more from the event. I covered this last week, but I wanted to mention it again because we have a better logo. This is uh, someone's putting together the Circuit Python libraries and more to control the open uh, Roomba port. Uh, there's a physical port that you can do stuff with, and it, uh, there's Circuit Python for it. Um, this is kind of cool. Uh, this is a Circuit Python brushless Nerf Titan 50 mod. And uh, I like how the cat gets on. Cat's just like, like, damn. So this I'm is, about to get yeah, nerfed. So this is, <laughs> this is a mod. Yeah. This is a mod that uh, is circuit Python powered. And then um, in a second or so, all these um, nerf, nerf shoots out. <laughs> and the cat. Cat's gone. Cat's gone. <laughs> cat's, wait, cat's actually in another state by now. Cat's already. Cat's calling his friends like, hey, pick me up. I'm out. I'm out of here. Um, uh, let's go, 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 go. Yeah. And then uh, this is uh, a really cool NeoPixel uh, cosplay. This is a Monster Hunter. Yeah. And you can see all this. Uh, what a cool outfit. Yeah, it's really neat. And then this is the Neo tree. This is a uh, oh, it's Neo robotic Pixel tree, and it goes up the the pole here. Wow. And I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. And there, there's music in the background, but I turned the music off because I think it's music that the the, the content ID stuff would would pick up. So. Um, I figure we could just do narration over it. So you can control it, do oh, lots of different effects, things. Yeah, fast LED effects. Yeah, it's really neat, all the things that you can do with this uh, this tree. All right. Um, the Getting Started Guide on Hacks Tourism posted from Robotic Masters. This is if you have the RoboHat MM1 and you want to use CircuitPython with it. They have the pinout maps. They have how to get started. Um, if you want to pick one up, you can find it on CrowdSupply. This is neat. Uh, thanks to Sean, who introduces Topher. This is from ZSK Technical uh, Textile Embroidery. Embroidery, yeah. And um, we're gonna uh, we're in communication with them. We've covered this before, but now I have an intro. But look how nice the embroidery yeah, is. Yeah. So here. we're gonna do some trading. So I think we're gonna get one of these in person here to, yeah. to play around with. And it would kind of be neat to add things like uh, Circuit Python and Circuit Playground Bluefruit to do things that are not only capacitive but also could uh, be wireless, so you can uh, do some combination of those things. So we'll uh, have one of those soon, and we'll uh, have a little segment on our show about it. This is a Pi Portal app launcher. Um, this came out a little while ago, and uh, I just saw it now. So if you want to control all the apps on your computer, you can use a Pi Portal and Circuit Python for that. Uh, this is a DNA Lounge, JWZ. You you put a little, eyeball. Yeah, we had the eyeball <laughs> yeah. for a while, but now he's got the Santa hat. Yeah, on he put it. a little Santa hat on it. So it's festive. And then this is a Micro Python powered cat toy. So this moves a little laser around, and as it moves the laser around, the cat, you know, cat's like, I'm going to get this. I'm, I'm going to get totally it. I'm totally going to get it. This time, this time I'm, I'm getting it. it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get you it. You know what's funny? MOSFET, like, it only worked on him for, like, 4.8 seconds, and he's like, oh, forget he, it. It's yeah, not he was like, he's like, uh, He was quickly, he yeah, was quickly It was exciting, and then it wasn't. Yeah. So anyways. Um, this is on the show and tell, but I thought I would just uh, mention this again. This is that cool uh, Raspberry Pi-powered clock that has all the different modes Cedar Grove and working on this really neat adapto. Yeah, you use the Pi badge, badge to control it. Cricket. And you can control all the servers and all the motors and it's control. It's cricket. like a yeah, it's cricket. a little adapto stemma grove thing. Yeah. Um, this is one of those cool infographics, but it takes like two minutes. And it starts at 1973. So, <laughs> I, so I just took a screenshot right at 2019. So right now most popular programming language, uh, Python. Followed by JavaScript, Java, and you got C, PHP. It's C sharp, interesting, yeah. and more popular into R, Swift, C. Objective C. So uh, check out the whole thing, um, the animation and more, because you can see like Fortran was there for yeah. decades. Um, Kotlin. Bunny's book is out of print, so you can now download it. That's correct. Yeah. I think we have like one copy left in the store. If you yeah. want it, really pick it up because this yeah. is it. This is the last one. He's not making any more. Typical beautiful. Bunny fashion. He just said, "Okay, we're out of print, so let's uh, let's let's let folks download it." Um, this is beginner guides to microcontrollers. This is from Gen Fox and Foxbox Industries, and it covers our stuff and a bunch of other stuff. So we bought a copy, read it. It's good. Uh, our endorsement, buy it, and support an independent publisher like. Gen Fox and Foxbox Industries, and uh, we have it linked up. It's also on our website um, if you want to pick up a copy and more. Got some more updates. This is from the learning system. This is control um, some holiday things like Reese and more with a Circuit Playground Bluefruit. The updated guide is up 
for the easy make controller of it. I think the Titano is now supported in it. And then speaking of, we now have support for HyperCard on the Titano, bigger screen. A um, little bit of a reminder of stuff that's going on. We have a bunch of libraries. We have like 208 now. 108 libraries. So if yes. you want to get started with electronics, it is now mo the most fully featured libraries. It is batteries included. As We're I actually now getting to the point where there's more libraries for CircuitPython than we've written for Arduino. I mean, total, there's there's more for Arduino because it's been around for like 12 yeah, years. Yeah, but we, we caught up. But we're, you know, we're getting there. Like, we're no longer hearing from people like, oh, I wish this library existed. It's like, yeah. no, it, it does. Or somebody's written it. We also have a contributor bundle, a community bundle. Yep. And people are adding and writing their own libraries there. So this is what's happening. Special thanks to everybody who's been smashing that star button on GitHub. Uh, we're up to 1,500 thanks. Um, it does nothing other than just let us know that you're liking what we're doing. So thank you, everyone who's been doing that on GitHub. You can go to github.com slash Adafruit slash CircuitPython and hit that button. Uh, Scott will be speaking at Pi Cascades in 2020. It's February 8th and 9th, which seems like a long way away, but it isn't. It'll be in like a matter of hours. It's like days. <laughs> and then um, April 15th to 23rd, PyCon. A lot of our team's going to be there. That's coming up. And that's Python on Hardware News this week. Yay! Okay. <laughs>